Hi everyone, welcome to my channel. My name is Yemi Park. I am a nursing defector human rights activist. So today in this video, I am going to talk about Kim Jong-un's younger sister Kim Yo-jung. Yo-jung has a, I think it, she she is known now to the Western country because she is representing a lot of things that in the USA she takes took up a lot of positions already, and a lot of people think is she gonna replace Kim Jong-un. And not only that, like we don't even know who she is. So in this video, I'm going to talk about everything that is related to her. Kim Yo-jong was born in 1987. She's 33 years old currently, three years younger than Kim Jong-un. She went to Switzerland to study <laughs> with Kim Jong-un in an international school. The reason why she went to study in Switzerland is not because they wanted to learn about democracy. They had to go to hide from North Korean elites because Kim, Kim Yo-jong and Kim Jong-un is not coming from a main wife. They are coming from a concubine of Kim Jong-il. She was a fourth wife of him. And in North Korea, in common society, the morality is very important. If Kim Jong-il shows to North Korean people that he had multiple wives, it would not be good mother, so he had to hide his children and that's why they went to study in Switzerland for that reason. After studying in Switzerland, she came back with Kim Jong-un and attended the Kim Il-sung University in Pyongyang. She studied the law, but again, she didn't go to first school. It was a special program that university made specifically for her. And in order to cover her, they made 40, 20 around years old students attend the reader in a special class only for them so she could finish that program i heard it's only six month course and she got the degree after that now she's working as a deputy director in the works korean workers party and in the propaganda department and she also be became a spokesperson for kim jong-un's regime for many years now the shocking thing that came out actually I was really shocked was so when she visited South Korea around 2018 the experts in South Korea were saying her look her complexion shows like she was using a lot of crystal meth drug North Korea is the biggest exporter of I mean the drug the crystal meth especially the regime in order to make money they serve missiles weapons and on top of that, they make a lot of these chemical drugs. And now it's a very known fact. I talked about in the previous videos, crystal meth is so widely used, even among the pe public. When people don't have drugs, when children have a cold, parents give them crystal meth. Like you take some, it's gonna make you feel better. That's how it's so widely used. They do have a genetics to make them fat. And given how big Kim Jong-un is and given how skinny Kim Yo-jong is it makes complete sense and her complexion on the face according to South Korean medical experts say her they don't look they don't think Kim Jong-un use a drug he doesn't have any sign of that on his face but with Kim Yo-jong's complexion they are so certain that she uses a lot of drug and no wonder why she's very skinny so with that state, let's say when she was in 2018, when she was in South Korea, she got an ear and told the South Korean officials that she was ill because she was pregnant. She is, according to the newspaper, she's married to Choi ryong son, Choi Sung. So Choi ryong is the second most powerful person in North Korea after Kim Jong-un. He's a general, he's a second powerful person. So it makes sense why he, she married his son or why he's the most powerful person now in North Korean party system. North Korea is a, is a class system. Commoners do not mix with the elite and it's a kingdom. So she is not going to marry any normal person. She married uh, the most powerful, second most powerful son you know, in North Korea. According to the, you know, the, the intelligence in South Korea, they have two children. First born was in 2015 and second born in 2018. Why Kim Yo-jong is very important, you know, right now for us to know who she is and what this is going. Because recently we all saw that Kim Jong-un came out after disappearing for a month. 
he seemed like lost a lot of weight. And some people are saying, oh, it, it, it's a good sign that he actually worked out and he lost weight in order to stay healthy. In my uh, <laughs> uh, research and based on I talking to a lot of other experts is that it's not healthy to lose that amount of weight in a, such a short period of time. So that cannot be good for Kim Jong-un. The reason why he lost so much weight and he looks like really aged despite losing a lot of weight it almost seems like he got a lot of complication with a different disease that his health is really failing the interesting move though is kim jong-un announcing the party representative which in north korean history they would never do that right like kim is a king nobody can ever replace him but the fact that kim jong-un was announcing somebody who could who can replace him in the party it almost seemed like kim jong-un is preparing his death if Kim Jong-un dies right now, his son is only 12 years old, who was born in 2009. And that is too young to replace Kim Jong-un right now. The only person who's left to replace Kim Jong-un is Kim Yo-jong. Because in North Korean kingdom, blood is all that matters. It's not meritocracy, guys. This is a communist kingdom. So Kim Yo-jong gonna definitely replace. At least until the son is gets older enough, Kim Yo-jong gonna act as a supreme leader. So a lot of people say she, because she's young, Western educated, and woman, she must be a better leader. Her record doesn't show us that. She's actually even brutal than Kim Jong-un. She blows up and she destroys things. Even right now, Biden administration begging to talk to North Korea and have a diplomatic relationship with North Korea. Kim Yo-jong coming out saying no way right and it's like the if we decide to talk to you we decide the time america you don't do anything with us um i really hope that north korea do not go to the hands of kim yo-jong because no i mean the fact that she's a woman means nothing and the fact that she was also western educated like kim jong-un doesn't mean anything right kim jong-un went to school in switzerland he learned how humans should be treated and when he went back and became a more murderous dictator than his own father. There's a high chance Kim Yo-jong becomes even brutal than Kim Jong-un and use even higher fear and control the people. And given that she's also married to the second powerful person in North Korea, her establishment, her foundation is very strong. Her father-in-law is Che ryong hye who got the military. Military in North Korea is designed to prevent coup d'etat and revolution with North Korea. Imagine guys, they set up an army, military, not to protect the people from the foreign invasion. They set up this 1.6 million, fourth largest army in the world to prevent for the people to rise up. And Choi Young is in charge of entire military. So even if Kim Jong-un dies, I do think North Korean regime is very stable. Kim Yo-jong is gonna act as a supreme leader with the support from her father-in-law and her husband, and the regime gonna continue. Only way to bring change in North Korea is us using our voice, speaking out about the the horrible sponsorship that Kim, I mean, Chinese Communist Party has been doing to North Korean regime. Without China, North Korean regime cannot even last one week. And we need to let the people know about this fact. What China does right now, with what Chinese Communist regime does, is a crimes against humanity. Thank you guys for watching, and please join my Patreon and join me on my law course. And I am so grateful for your support. Hit the like button, share this video, anyone you know, and I look forward to seeing you guys all next time. Love you guys, and have a lovely day.